Text to speech is the conversion of written text into spoken voice. Google Text to Speech API supports several languages. PYTTSX3 is a cross platform library supporting male and female voices. Welcome to Tenita Sofa. In this video, we are going to see an exciting and interesting concept called text to speech conversion using Python. Text to speech conversion is done easily through Python by making use of open source libraries. There are a lot of open source libraries available in Python for performing this process. You are taking a text, converting into a speech by making use of a Python code. And you can convert the text to speech with different languages and also with different voices. Actually, there are many open source libraries available in Python for performing this. We are just going to concentrate on two most famous Python libraries. They are GTTS and PyTTSX3. First, let's start with the GTTS Google Text to Speech. This is a Python library. Also, it is a command line interface tool to interface with the Google Translate Text to Speech API. It means that you can make use of some commands in your command prompt to access this GTTS. You are just going to convert the text to speech and this spoken data is saved in the mp3 file so that later you can manipulate the audio. This GTTS API supports many languages including English, Hindi, Tamil, French, German and many more languages. You can just get the list of languages in this by making use of this command and command from gtts cli double hyphen all. If you use this command all the available languages will be listed. These are all the available languages. You can make use of any of these languages. And so all these options are available, but only one default voice is present right now in GTTS. And the important thing to be noted here is GTTS works only online in online mode. You cannot work with the GTTS in offline. And speech can be delivered in any one of the two available audio speeds either fast or slow. By default, it will be fast. You can set it to slow by setting slow is equal to 2. So the first step is you have to install GTTS. This I have done in Windows. So use this command pip install GTTS. It will install all the required packages and finally you will get this message successfully installed. All these things. Beautiful. So GTTS, GTTS token and so see. Actually, this is going to be very few lines of code and you can just convert your text to speech. Let's start using this GTTS. From GTTS, import GTTX. And I am going to import OS also in order to play the mp3 file. Okay. Now, I am going to have some text. Say welcome to... Python world. Now I am going to create an object for GTTS. The first parameter is text equal to this text is passed. Second parameter is the language to be used. The language code for this is English. For English is EN. for English so I have used en and slow by default it's false it's set to false we'll check for false as well as true yes object is created now I have to save this object in an mp3 file object.save I'm saving it in output dot mp3 The last step is I'm going to play it for a start system of output.mp3. That's it. Make sure you are online while executing this Python file. I saved it as test.py. I'm executing it now. Welcome to Python world. 
Welcome to Python world. That's it. We have got the output. It's so simple. It's as simple as such. Now we have taken a simple text message and have converted into a speech. I can do the same for a file. So here I have this file called myfile.txt. I have some basic introduction about Python and the applications are listed. So I'm going to read this file and convert it into a speech. So I will just remove this text. Instead, I'm going to open a file. With open and I give the file name myfile.txt in read mode as here. And now I am going to read the contents and also I am going to replace the new lines that's with the slash and backslash and otherwise it will read it as backslash in. So I will replace the new lines with an empty space. I will just place this whatever is read from the file is placed in text. Okay, that's it. Now I am just going to make use of the same thing. Text is equal to text. This time let me use slow is equal to true. So that it will be read slowly. Object.save. I will save it in output 1. Maybe later for later use. Output 1.mp3. Now on running this. Python is developed by Guido Van Rossum Applications of Python 1 Web Development 2 Machine Learning 3 Data Analysis 4 Game Development 5 Desktop Applications That's it. It's too slow, isn't it? So it's better we have slow is equal to false. This is for English language. Now I have a Tamil text file. You can read this text file and convert that into speech. That is also possible in Google text to speech. The only thing is we have only one voice available. The default voice. Microsoft Windows default voice. File name for the Tamil text is Tamil.txt. So I will just change the file name Tamil.txt. And language code will be TA. So in this case for Tamil the language code is TA. So I am just replacing it with TA and I am storing this output in output 2.mp3. And one more thing for English language you do not give any encoding whereas for other languages for all other languages you have to make use of encoding. The default encoding used is UTF-8. Only if you specify this, you will get the exact required output. So I have given encoding UTF-8 only for other languages, not for English language. Paidan Katrukola Varave Tirum, Paidan Uru Saktiva in the Niralaka Muri. Yeah, we got it perfectly. So this is the Tamil.txt and this is the English test which we have read before that. So that's how GTTS works with the different languages and you have the speed set as either slow or fast. And the disadvantage of uh, using GTTS is that it is online. It can be used only in online and it has only one voice. So we can go for a better option, pi double t xs3. So this is the first step here. You can just install using this pip install pi double t xs3. You will get the message successfully installed pi double t xs3. It is also a text to speech conversion library in Python. It works offline. That is the most important advantage of this and it is compatible with both Python 2 and 3. 
and it is an easy tool to convert the entire text into speech. This application will invoke the PyTTXX3.init method that will create an engine instance. And we have this method called say. We have two parameters. The second one is optional, the first one text. The text to be spoken. So you can have as many number of say methods in your program. So this will queue the command to speak an utterance. And run and wait will be present after the say method. It will process all the queued commands and then only the execution will be over. So we have uh, some more methods in PyTTXS3. We have two methods get property and set property. Get property will get the current value of the engine property. Set property, we are going to set some value to this property. So what are the properties available in this library? There are four properties. We have the rate, that is the speech rate in words per minute. Default is 200. You can set it to any number from 100 to 200. And voice, the identifier of the active voice. So you may be having a lot of voices installed in your operating system. So this voice will be the identifier of the active voice and voices will be the list of all the voices. PyTTSX3.voice descriptor objects will be listed here. You can only make use of get property method here. You cannot use set property. And volume, the default is 1.0. You can just reduce this volume by setting the property. Set property of volume as from any number between 0.0. .0 1.0 but by default it is 1.0 if you want you can reduce the volume by setting it to 0.5 or something let's start with import by double t ss3 now i'll call this init method to create this engine by double t ss3 dot init okay now, as I said, you can have uh, different voices in PyTTXS3. So, first let us retrieve the voices using this method. Engine dot get property and I am getting the voices. And I make use of a for loop to find out all the voices. I'll just print the voice ID, voice dot ID, okay, and then I have a text message, a simple message that should be read in all the voices. So I will just set property with each voice ID. I'll give engine dot set property voice comma voice dot id i will call this message in engine dot say text to speech conversion using by double t sx3 the last method is engine dot run and wait so what this is going to do, we are retrieving all the voices present in the voice list of PyTTXS3 and I am printing out the voice ID and in the for loop itself I am setting the property for voice. Will this text to speech conversion using PyTTXS3 will be converted to speech and it is read by all the voices present in the list. Text to speech conversion using PYTTXS3 Text to speech conversion using PYTTSX3. Text to speech conversion using PYTTSX3. Now that's it. So we have got three voices. I have three voices installed in my Windows operating system. The default voice Microsoft Zira. So this is the voice ID. And Indian English language, we have two voices, Ravi and Hira. So the same content is read by using three different voices. So you can have as many number of messages in the queue engine.say and I can add as many number of text as possible. Now I can just change the rate if it is too fast since it is too fast I can just change the rate as 
by default it is 200 I'll just make it as 140 now I will select any one voice here so instead of this voice ID I will select any one voice this voice ID should be pasted there I'll select the second voice and then place this within quotes now the speed will be reduced and even if you want to reduce the volume you can check the volume ranges from 0.1 to 1 I just make it as 0.8 or 0.7 text to speech conversion using PYTTSX3 so now you can See the volume is also reduced and the rate of speech, the number of words per minute that is also reduced. The speed is reduced a little since we have changed the rate. Even by TTXS3 you can take a, a text file and convert it into speech. So that can be done. So now I will remove this. I will make use of the same file, myfile.txt. Let's open myfile.txt. Uh -oh. As here. We'll use the same thing. f.read.replace backslash n with a name it as lines we are just going to read each and every line so here instead of pausing a text here I will just pause the variable lines here I am using this last voice here I am So now let's run this. We are reading the contents of the file using PyTTSX3. Python is developed by Guido Van Rossum applications of Python 1 web development 2 machine learning 3 data analysis 4 game development 5 desktop applications. So that's it. So this is how text to speech conversion is performed using the libraries like Google text to speech and Py WTSX3. Finally, I want to add a point to this. You can add a text to speech voice to your PC. In Windows 10, you can go to this link to find out the supporter, narrator languages, and voices. So they have a list of the voices. You can add it to your PC by using these steps. All these steps are given in this link. You can open the narrator settings. Under personalized narrator's voice, you can select add more voices. Under manage voices, you can select add voices and select the record language and just select add. So that's how you can add a TTS voice to your PC. That's it about text to speech conversion. Thanks for watching.